The fact that you're asking them not just to do their job, but you're asking them to make the organization successful. If organizations are able to get people to focus not just on doing their job, but on collaborating, working together for mutual success, that can add an extra 50% to profitability. How much easier would it be to achieve the vision and deliver the legacy you want if you were getting 30% more effort from 60% of your people? But not only that, ladies and gentlemen, what it does is it benefits investors, it benefits the customers because you're delivering great service, but it also benefits your people because they are inspired when they get to work. Everybody wins. Because leaders should be there to create a we, not me culture. The moment it becomes me, not we, the organization is in danger. Think about what you do. You're selling ideas to people, both customers and staff. You are selling a future vision to people as a leader. You cannot have just a few people who are happy and some are unhappy. You have to work hard to make sure everybody is inspired. When we get messages from people who are in power, what we do is we say to ourselves, one, does this person have credibility? Two, do I believe this person? Three, what about common sense? In the end, what is leadership about? We have an organization that wants to do something. The role of the leader is utterly simple. Just two steps, inspire to get people to care and give their best, then focus that onto what matters. And that is all you have to do, just those two things. Because if you do those two things, everything else will happen naturally. It's about inspiring other people, and so they inspire you back. And for the cynics in the audience that say, this is garbage, just give them more money, just promote them and they'll be happy. Wrong. That effect in terms of effort wails off after 12 weeks. There is absolutely no dispute about these things making that sort of benefit. In the end, it's about not just doing a job, it's about transforming lives, it's about making a difference and transforming this organisation and this country. And that's what it does, because if you can get these things on that list done every day by every leader, it will enable you, your team, the organisation, your family and your community to reach its full potential. What does serve to lead mean? It means that simple day-to-day -day actions that you do from that list show that A, you can do the job and B, you care.